What's up everybody? It's your boy Q Hicks and I'm back with another video on Imani Bates and why he won't be in this year's 2022 NBA Draft. If this is your first time on the channel, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. Now let's dive into it. I feel like everybody knows Imani Bates. He's one of the most well-known high school recruits in recent memory and has been in the spotlight since he was in 7th, 8th grade. Bates became the first sophomore to be named Gatorade National Boys Player of the Year last year while playing for Lincoln High School in Ypsilanti, Michigan, and has been often compared to Kevin Durant. And in the summer, he committed to play at the University of Memphis after reclassifying to be a part of the 2021 recruiting class instead of 2022. But a lot of people have been asking the question of why he won't be a part of the 2022 NBA Draft since they are not seeing him in mock drafts. Many players in the past have reclassified before and have been eligible to go to the draft the following year. Even his freshman teammate Jalen Duran, who also reclassified, is eligible. But Amani is a rare case. First, we have to look at the NBA Collective Bargaining Agreements Draft Rules, and the first rule for eligibility is the player must be 19 years old during the draft calendar year, and at least one season has passed since graduation of high school. Currently, Amani is only 17, and his birthday is January 28, 2004, so he wouldn't turn 19 until the calendar year of 2023. But if his birthday was December 28th of 2003, he would have been eligible because he would have turned 19 in the draft year of 2022. A great example from last year's draft was Josh Primo, who was the youngest player in the NBA right now at 18 after being drafted by the Spurs. Primo won't turn 19 until December 24th, but his birthday is in the calendar year of 2021, so he was eligible for the 2021 NBA draft. So it's a technicality in the rule book that is holding Imani back. Now the question that remains is will Imani stay at Memphis for two years? To be honest, it depends on how much money he's making at Memphis. Bates is considered perhaps the top high school prospect in over a decade. He just signed with Rock Nation in October and was viewed as a prime candidate to pursue NIL opportunities and will have the chance to cash in. Before the NIL, I think he plays one year at Memphis and goes to the G League. But the G League max for a player is only 500000 More than likely, Imani is making more than that with the NIL, with the sponsors, the endorsements, the boosters. So that could cause him to stay at Memphis for two years before going to the league. Unless he doesn't want to mess up his draft stock and sits out the second season to train, but I see that as unlikely. So I think he plays two years at Memphis. So he will come out with the same players he's been playing against his entire AAU career, but he would be more seasoned because of his college experience. And honestly, I think it's a good thing. I'm somebody who thinks the more time you have in college, the quicker you translate to the NBA. And his first year, he can build up his body and his game and can still be a part of the pro runs during the summer to gain some NBA experience before he gets there. Second year, he can show up on his freshman mistakes and weaknesses. But on the flip side, the more time scouts spend scouting a player in college, the more they start to nitpick them. So more people could overthink drafting him after his second year if they don't like what they see. I just want to thank you guys for watching. If you got all the way to the end, I really rock with you. If this is your first time on the channel, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter and definitely let me know what you would like to see next. And we out. Peace.